Welcome back. We are now going to extend the built-in classes. Very powerful. First, let's take a look at the stack class that we made back in Lab 320. Here we made a stack class, and it depends on nothing. It has a push and a pop and a magic in it. Remember? Okay, we're going to do it again. We're going to make another stack class, but this stack is different. And the big difference is that this stack inherits from list. That means if I just put a pass here, if nothing was in there, stack would be another name for list. But we want it to be a stack. Well, this list already has in it a pop, so it only needs a push. It also has in it a good magic string because a list prints nicely. So this one we just make a push and everything else is there. Here comes in our thing, we append it to the self. Now what's hard to get and hard to remember is that the self has a data in it. So the self is the list. So the self gets appended with the thing. Okay, so we make that stack, we put in some movies, and we look at the magic string by printing this stack, and see there it is, very nice. And it has all the list facilities. Here I'm printing the dirt of my stack, and it has all the list facilities. Well, you might wish that wasn't true. So if you wish that wasn't true, I'll show you a little trick to get rid of the things you don't want. But we can take advantage of the fact that it sorts and it pops and by default it does exactly what we want. So that is extending a built-in class. The built-in class is the list and we are making it into a stack. Now if you do not like that it has in it all these methods, you can do this you can put in your stack class a def of uh, perhaps no op, you name it as you understand it, put in self, star arg v and double star arg d, or however you want to call those. So it takes in absolutely anything, and then that method will just raise an error that this is not implemented. Now then, all you have to do is say, clear equals copy equals extend equals insert equals remove equals reverse equals sort equals no op. And then anytime any of those methods get called, instead your no op will be called and you will be raising an error. So that's good. For the next example, we want to remember the circle def that we made back in lab 360 where we made a circle, which means that it's just like a list, except that when it gets to the end of the list, it goes to the beginning again. It goes around and around as many times as we indicate. So it had a magic init and a magic get item, and that made a whole lot of things work as a circle. The indexing, the sorting, and for looping through it all worked. We'll make again the same circular behavior, but this time our circle class will inherit from the list. And that way we'll get facilities for free. We'll see what we get. So the initializer looks almost the same, except we push the initialization up to the list initialization of the data. So now we keep the data in a list and we store the number of times. When our get item is called with square brackets, here we take the len of the self, and since the self is a list, the len is defined, so we didn't have to define a magic len. Here again, I do the same test to see if that index given was too big, and if so, I give the same error. Otherwise, I go up to the list class, and I call its magic get item, passing along the self and putting in the modulo so I get that circular behavior. So that's the same, but when I had done that much 
and I had not yet done the magic iter, the only facility that worked was a magic get item, the square brackets. All the other things complain that there was no iter. So here I'm making a magic iter, and then everything works again. Everything else did not work because the magic iter of the list got called. So here I'm making a magic iter to override the list. And I do that with the wonderful generator function. Well, generator method in this case. I'm going to go three times around and yield the self of I. This then is going to call my magic get item and so it behaves perfectly. And all this testing worked like a charm. In our testing, I called the same main as we had before, and it worked just fine. And then I did test list so I could see the list functions that work. I can do a plus equals on my circle because it is a list. And then when I print it out, I see that K is in there many times. I can sort it, and we'll see that that K is in there in the sort. Here I'm telling you what happened if I didn't define magic iter the list functions would not work as I was wishing that they would. It would not sort, and it would not loop around three times. Here in circle iter, I'm going to do the same thing again, but I wanted to show you an explicit magic iter that doesn't depend on the generator function. If you can write it as a generator function, that's easier, and I think you almost always can. So my magic iter the rule is, for an iterator, it has to return an object that has a next method. Here I have a class, circleIter, that is nested inside my iter method. When my magic iter method is called, it's going to return a circleIter object. We look at this, we see we keep two copies of the data. We have the starting data, and this one's called data to pop. And then we have a magic next. Whenever the for loop looks for that magic next, or anything does, this goes around forever. It's going to re return the first thing that pops off with the zero, so it'll return the very first element. When it tries to return a pop, but there's nothing left, then we come into the index area, and I just say pass, because I just want to do all this then. I am going to take down my number of times of my inner self so that I quit when it gets to zero and I raise that stop iteration error that the for loop looks for. Otherwise, on the inner self, I'm going to make the data to pop to be the starting data over again, just in case you're curious or ever need to know how that works. It also tells you how generators really work. The generator object that the interpreter makes for you when you make a generator. Okay, you have some exercises to work on. When you've had enough of that, come on back.